Hello everybody, I am Bradman19 and welcome to a brand new series. This time we are going into LEGO games and it's uh, something I've really been wanting to do for a long time. And uh, we had a nice vote uh, at the beginning of February and uh, people chose Star Wars The Complete Saga is the one for us to start with. So I was pretty excited to go ahead and get this one going. And um, I'm just really, really, really excited to be playing a game like this. Normally I play strategy games. This is more of a, uh, I guess, an action-adventure uh, role-playing type game in a way. So, uh, yeah. And uh, as far as I know, so I'm, I'm just going to take it. I haven't played in a very long time, so if I remember correctly, there are there should be six doors in front of me, which there are. And these are the corresponding to the episodes. So, uh Episode 1, 2, 3, the original trilogy, 4, 5, and 6, which are the new stuff. There are extra stuff off to the sides, which we'll get into eventually. And um, we'll be playing around with more of this stuff later on. But um, first and foremost, we're going to start by going through the story modes of all of the uh, ep of all the episodes. And then we'll go through free play, trying to get uh, closer to one, or, you know, on our 100% run. Get all the extra stuff that's in the game. So let's go ahead and start here with episode one, The Phantom Menace. And come into its nice little lobby. There are six ones in it. So let's go ahead and start with number one. Chapter one, Negotiations. Episode one, The Phantom Menace. Chapter one, Negotiations. Turmoil has engulfed the Galactic Republic. With a blockade of deadly battleships, the Trade Federation has stopped all shipping to the small planet of Naboo. The Supreme Chancellor has secretly dispatched Jedi Knights Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi to settle the conflict. And is that the end? Yep, that's the end. Okay, let's go. Nice. Look at, like, Lego spaceships and stuff. That's so cool. Right. You see the droids running around. Ooh, crab droids too. And there's Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Go ahead. That protocol droid. Uh oh. Boom! There you go. And it's a it's a Lego game. Nobody like actually die dies or you know things like that happen. And there's also there is no talking with our characters, so I don't have to worry about any subtitles or anything like that. Um, or messing up where they're all talking. So this is one of the this is actually the first game that came out uh, with Lego. So you know they didn't have all the voice acting and all that at the time. Lately they've been putting them in though. But uh, at this point in time, they had not done that. All right, let's go ahead and... All right, what's over? Anything over here? Nope. Okay. And then we're going to use the Force. There's that Cantina song. Nice. All right, come over here. And these little things that we're picking up are called studs. I know some people have played these games before and know what these things are. But for those that do not know, these things are called studs. And I'm about to make some more pop out. Yep, there they are. They go sil they go silver, gold, uh, I think blue, and then there's a purple, and they all equate to a different amount. Silvers I think equa uh, equate to ten. I think gold. I don't even know how much gold equates to anymore. Our bronze does. Excuse me. Let's see. Those are ten each, and then. I think the I think the what I, the bronze ones are a hundred. That's what they seem to be coming out to. It's okay. We'll we'll find out for sure. But you definitely want to collect all these because we're trying to fill up that little bar at the top. That is our uh, true Jedi bar, and it's really just kind of the stud completion bar. You want to do that every single uh, mission if you can, because you get some nifty things like gold bricks that you know will mean something later on as we are one hundred percenting the game. And you can pay for things later on too. 
Right, nice job. Alright, so using the force to break this open. Uh oh. That's not good. Alright, looking good right there though. And we're just going to use the force to put things back together. There we go. Take that. Yeah, I can I can divert shots back at them if I like swing it just the right time. Not going to worry about that so much. I am going to worry about getting all this though. I must become a true Jedi. Can I go in here? Ooh, I can. Look at these little guys. Uh-huh. Alright, let's mess with this thing. Ooh, whoa. Lots of blue in that one. We're at 26,000 and we're like almost 80% already. Let's go here. Oh, that gave me another blue. Another couple blue, actually. I'm using Qui-Gon because uh, if you know anything about Star Wars, he's not going to be around too much longer. So it's kind of cool getting to use him. We're at 30,900. I'm pretty sure I'm very close to getting true Jedi and I'm barely through the first area. There it is. 31,000 was where true Jedi was. As you can see, it's not very difficult. We're not even... I mean, we're probably not even a quarter of the way through this level yet. I'm going to try to move a little bit quicker. Oh, first mini kit. We get mini kits for, uh, you know, some special stuff later on. Oh, I killed one of them with that. Alright, let's go ahead and work on this stuff. Give me that. Give me that. I need a protocol droid, like a C-3PO, to do that. I think I saw TC-14 is his name, I think, maybe. Maybe it might be TC-13. I don't know, they're all just, what do you call names? They're, they're protocol droids. Not like R2. R2 is a, if you're you're familiar with all the droids, R2-D2 is an astromech. Used for mechanic work and uh, helping with navigation type stuff. Oh, oh, there's another kit. Mine. Now, obviously, they kind of want us to go straight into that, but we know we could go back, right? Let's go ahead and change over. This guy's so slow. Up, oh, only R2, only an astromech can do that. At least I'm pretty sure only an astromech. Let me just play with it. Nope, okay. That's alright. This guy can't jump, he can't do anything. Good thing we don't only get shot at. Here we go, let's get this one. And then I'm gonna come on down here and open up the next one. Slowly. That is, we'll open up that one. There we go, open up that one. As far as I can go, so go ahead and let's take Obi Wan. There you go. Use the Force to create whatever this is. Oh, it's some kind of robot arm. There you go. Use the Force. Cool. All right. Um. this. Leave him over there. And we'll let... Yep, there you go, Qui-Gon. Go step on that for me. And there goes another mini-kit. There's ten of them in total on every level. Let's go on down here. Oh, 
Nice, let's run out, go ahead and run on in here. There we go, deflected. Nice. Like I said, all this stuff is worth money. Or good money, that is. Go put these into place. Oh, I can barely... Something up with that. I don't know if maybe it's above me. Uh, it might be linked to that over there. I gotta use a small character to go in and undo that thing so people can get up there. Uh, okay, that's alright. Let's use this. Can't go in there. And that's why we have free play later on. Free play will come running around all these places. Open that for me. Nice. And we'll build this. You can you don't have to use the force for that. Come on, TC14. That's actually his name, I saw it in the top left corner. Obi-Wan. Nice. One quick slash. I can see it. I can see it, I just can't reach it. It's okay. That's why free play is there. We'll come back with more characters to do it for us. Come on. Nice. Quick and easy. Now run off across here. I could likely get up there, but I don't think it's going to do me any good. Yeah, because I would need to change forms up here. Uh, we'll leave that here because it's trying to get me up there and I don't think I can reach. Come on. Ooh, droidicas. Let's go ahead and take care of all these baddies in front of me. Alright, come on down here. Yeah, we're getting 60,000 in this one. Oh, easily got 60,000. There we go. And we're looking like Mace Windu right now. I just gotta overload the... There we go, nice. Ooh, the power-up actually gives me some cool stuff. Let's do that. Fix this. Yeah, I can't quite reach that. Look at the red bricks. Uh-oh. That did something. I don't know really what. Huh. Oh, I guess I'll just destroy this stuff. There's a power-up. Nice. Looks good. Let's come over here and mess with that.
Uh, we'll go ahead and switch this over. Oh! I see what it is. It's a, like a magnet. It's like a magnet. So if you've got a droid, you can attract the droids to it. Come on, let's let's break through. I should have used a little bit of I should have used a little something extra on that, but I didn't want to look all I didn't want to show off too much. All right. Um, we're gonna end up with over seventy thousand. Uh, studs here. Not a bad take for a first uh, episode, if you ask me. All right, uh, come on. And he didn't even get hurt. Look at him; he's got all of his arms and legs. Come on, Qui Gon. Let's go. Yeah. See, already there. See, it's gonna be a little bit more comedic too. Just you know, because it's it's geared towards kids. All right, level complete. Free play was unlocked. TC fourteen. We did get true Jedi. Nice. Studs up to what? Just over 71,000. 71,050. One, two, three mini kits. We won't know what that is for a long time. Did get one level, one gold brick, two gold bricks. All right, sweet. Well, guys, I'm going to end this one right here. Next time, we'll come in and we'll continue our story. So, all right, guys, appreciate you so much, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Discord, and I will see you all next time.